Here's a great way to embellish some letters using a technique that I kind of think I made up. Um, using some large chipboard letters, some metal, embossing folders, ultra thick embossing emollient, and some alcohol inks. These are these great chip decor letters that you can get at Hobby Lobby like this. I think normally they're about 99 cents. Sometimes they will go on sale for half price. What's really interesting is Hobby Lobby has a Cricut cartridge specifically made for their chip decor products. And it will exactly cut out your image for this size of letters. Also they have a few um, images. I think they have a crown and they have this Florida de lis and some sayings. And also they do have a larger set sorry, larger set of letters and these can be cut out using this Cricut cartridge. Now if you don't have a Cricut cartridge you can just cut them out yourself using a scissors or craft knife. First of all to make your letters you're going to need some of this metal that I got at Hobby Lobby. This is silver. It actually comes in in, in bronze, copper, and gold. It's 12 inch by 30 inch piece of metal and you can actually cut a piece of this with your scissors. Cut it about a little bit bigger than the size of your letter. Then I used a couple of embossing envelopes to run your piece of metal through. Then after this, this is the fun part, you have to cut your metal out to fit your letter. Um, I actually was able to use my Cricut and cut these out on the Cricut. Some of the embossing folders that have have a high embossing component may not work on your Cricut. I tried the one that has flowers in it and my Cricut made this horrendous noise so I stopped and I ended up cutting out my piece of metal with an exacto knife. And if you do want to do that, flip your letter over, trace around your letter, and you can use even just use a pen because it will indent into the into the metal and cut it with your scissors. And to get a good to get a good fit, if it doesn't fit, you can actually use a bone folder and kind of smooth your edges around. After I do that though, <coughs> you're ready to glue it on your letter, kind of. What I did in this particular letter is before I did start gluing things on, and of course I'm going backwards here before I start, is I painted the sides of my letter with my acrylic paint dauber, and this is snow cap white, and I was able to daub some of it, although I did have to open the top, use a brush to get into the inside of my letters. Then after it dried, I went ahead and used my Distress Ink tumbled glass and I did go ahead and work as much as I could however I ended up having to use um, a makeup sponge to work my way around the inside of my letters. So now once I have my letter painted and my metal embossed and cut I can glue it onto my chipboard piece and I really do like the scotch quick dry adhesive you can get fancy and put a big glob on your letter and use a brayer. I just use my finger and smooth it on, plop my letter on. Usually I turn it over and maybe put a little bit of a weight on to try to get this good and dry. Once it's dry, then you can take your alcohol inks and color your metal. <clears throat> I like this color. It's called Pool. kind of goes with the aqua effect. You can use any color you want or no color. That's entirely up to you. <coughs> and daub it on with your sponge. If the color is a little too intense, use some of your blending, your alcohol blending material to kind of smooth it down. Then, comes kind of to me I think the fun part, is you want to try to use some ultra thick embossing enamel or UT <coughs> on your letter. 
before you use your UT, you're going to stomp, you're going to want to cover your entire letter with this great perfect medium. I actually have a perfect medium reinker that I'll use because you really want this to be sticky enough that it'll stick on your finger. Really cover this as much as you can so you've got a good thick coat of your perfect medium. The next step pardon me here, is I take some of the ultra thick embossing enamel. You can get this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, probably most craft stores. This is just the greatest stuff and be sure you do get the clear. And I take a little and I mix it in with some glitter. Whatever color glitter I would like. In this case I wanted to use some pink. So I take my pink glitter and my UT and I mix it all up, pour it on my letter, and then my other favorite tool, my dryer, you dry it until you can actually see the emollient which will look kind of almost like snow on there will thicken it, it will clear and you'll get this wonderful effect with the glitter in it. So you can go ahead and do this to all your letters then you can embellish them. I made a letter for myself and I put it on some gross grain ribbon. It is just a lot of fun to make these and embellish them. I put a ring at the top. If you don't have metal and you really don't feel like doing all that, <clears throat> you can just put the ultra thick embossing emollient on a piece of paper, which is what I did here. This is just paper. And this is just paper. You can use alcohol ink, you cannot use alcohol ink, you can ink the sides any way you want. I used perfect pearls on these. I glued this on the ribbon with my Scotch quick dry adhesive and put on my favorite embellishment and you've got a really unique, interesting way to do some letters. If you'd like to see any more ideas, please look me up on Facebook at Scrapbook Idea Exchange and like me. That sounds strange. Sit. Click like for my page and add your own ideas or comments if you'd like. Thank you so much.